Hey guys, how you doing? It's that time of year. 100% pure lemongrass. Wow, is this stuff strong. This stuff is strong, buddy. Don't need much of it. I'm going to put a little bit around around the entrance here. I'm going to put a little around the entrance of this thing. I'm going to lay that Q-tip up there like that. <coughs> I've got a bunch of these hives here. Laying around, not doing nothing. So let's make swarm traps. Let's make some swarm traps. All right. Get all your equipment ready to go. This is swarm season right around the corner. It's hot today, guys. Are you guys getting a little bit of uh, cabin fever in Michigan? You better move to Florida. Uh, check my shirt, okay? You want to give it all you got here, okay? And I want to give a shout out to Don. One of my subscribers sent me this nice hat. I love it. I love it when I get gifts. Okay. I gotta order a bunch of these frames. These are the man lake frames. I like them. I like them. If you guys build this beefy beehive, look at the distance I got here on those measurements I gave you. You got enough bee space on both ends here. Plus, you got enough space you shoved them all over here to get your first frame out. So, we're going to be robbing frames out of other hives soon, but in the meantime, I'm going to have some swarms coming through here. And, uh, so, I noticed what reminded me to do this I was out here earlier and throwing more feet up uh, through more uh, syrup on these bees they're already sucked it down pretty good uh, just threw them on a couple hours ago and these bees are bringing in a lot of pollen a lot of pollen I think it's Spanish needle there's a lot of Spanish needle happening right now but I've got all these hives sitting here and uh, what reminded me to do this was a bee came in, a scout bee flew in just as I was walking by. He went in there and checked his hive out. So they're already looking. So let's kick it up a notch by adding some, uh, some lemongrass. Lemongrass will help those... Uh, colonies get in here what do I have in this one I got some frames in this one also I need to put a bucket over this and I need to put some lemongrass in here get some lemongrass in this hive too just shove it in the hole or you can just open the top and give it a couple of sprinkles in there. A couple of drops. That's all you need. You don't need much. A little of this goes a long way. Yeah, these are all going to be swarm traps, basically. Every one of them. So I've got swarm traps all over this place. Hello, lizard.
wanted to show you something else up here. I've been knocking out some of these boxes. More beefy beehives. Got a few bottoms ready. Got to get me one more of those. There's some supers over there, and there's actually some beefy beehives. I made some eight framers. Beefy beehives, there's three of them over there. Medi and medium. Eight frame medium. But I wanted to show you the difference in the color with this tall earth. This wood preservative, tallearth.com. Um, you mix one, one package of this stuff per gallon. They send you instructions too. And you got instructions on the back. But that's all it is. It just looks like sand. And I'm not sure what minerals they have in there, but you dump this one package in with some, some warm water and then shake it up in a gallon milk jug and then dump it in a vat. And then this is the color you get. That's a box that hasn't been treated. This box was treated yesterday. I mean this morning. This was treated this morning. And here's a fresh box. It hasn't been treated. You can see it turns it to a patina look to it. I wanted to show you that coloration here. Here's another one. Those have been treated. Just uh, I just put it in a, in a tote and use a brush and slop it on. And you just bring it out set it in the sun. I'll paint these tomorrow. Uh, this one just got glued up today. I've got three more in the barn I just glued up and screwed together. <coughs> and all I use on these is four screws on per side. That's it. It's glued in the center. You guys saw how I glued that up. And I saved the three-quarter by three-quarter piece that came out of here as the handle. But you'll notice on this, here's where they ran the rabbits cut for the plastic strapping. Well, I just kind of extended the handle out. Just this little three-quarter by three-quarter works great for a handle. Okay, guys. Get busy. It's, uh, won't be long. Florida guys are kicking down here now. We're starting to make some bees, so be happy. See you later. Send me some more hats. I love these.